Welcome to the 2024 Indiana DMV written test. This test has 60 questions with explained answers to help you prepare for this test. Before we get started, don't forget to jumpstart that like button to keep this channel running. Now here is your DMV instructor to walk you through the questions. Question one, what can you do to stop cars from bumping into your back? A, play loud music. B, before stopping, check your mirrors and blind spots for traffic. C, close your eyes. D, blow your horn. The correct answer is B, before stopping, check your mirrors and blind spots for traffic. To avoid cars hitting you from behind, it's important to check your mirrors and blind spots before coming to a stop. This helps you be aware of the traffic around you and avoid rear-end collisions. Question 2. When can you have alcoholic drinks in a vehicle while on a public highway? A. Only on weekends. B. When it's really sunny outside. C. When you're with friends. D. Under no circumstances. The correct answer is D. Under no circumstances. It is never allowed to have alcoholic drinks in a vehicle on a public highway. This is a safety rule to prevent accidents and keep everyone on the road safe. Question 3. What does this sign show you about the road? A. Two-way traffic. B. One-way road widens into two lanes ahead. C. You're going the wrong way. D. There is a divided road ahead. The correct answer is A. Two-way traffic. This sign tells you that the road ahead has traffic coming from both directions. It's important to stay in your lane and watch out for oncoming vehicles. Question 4. What kind of signs are orange in color? A. Signs for your birthday party. B. Signs for the ice cream truck. C. Work zone signs. D. Signs for a dance party. The correct answer is C. Work zone signs. Orange signs are used for work zones and they help drivers know when they are approaching a construction area on the road. These signs are important for safety and to let drivers know about road work ahead. Question 5. What should you do when you're driving in a travel lane on the road? A. Stop as soon as you can. B. Honk your horn. C. Don't stop for any reason. Keep moving until you can safely pull off the road. D. Change lanes without looking. The correct answer is C. Don't stop for any reason. Keep moving until you can safely pull off the road. When you're in a travel lane on the road, it's important to keep moving and not stop unless it's safe to pull over. Stopping in the middle of the road can be very dangerous. Question 6. What does this road sign tell you about the speed limit on the road? A. 55 miles per hour. B. 45 miles per hour. C. 50 miles per hour. D. 65 miles per hour. The correct answer is A. 55 miles per hour. This sign lets you know that the fastest you can legally drive on this road is 55 miles per hour. It's important to follow speed limits to stay safe on the road. Question 7. How can you stop cars from crashing into each other? A. Play loud music. B. Follow safe driving practices and obey traffic rules. C. Install more traffic lights. D. Implement strict speed limits. The correct answer is B. Follow safe driving practices and obey traffic rules. To stop cars from crashing into each other, one of the key elements is to encourage safe driving practices. This involves adhering to traffic rules, maintaining safe distances, avoiding distractions, and following speed limits. While infrastructure and traffic management play a role, responsible driver behavior is a critical factor in preventing accidents. Question 8. What should drivers do when they see a yellow light flashing? A. Speed up as fast as possible. B. Close their eyes and keep driving. C. Stop immediately. D. Slow down and proceed with caution. The correct answer is D. Slow down and proceed with caution. When approaching a flashing yellow light, drivers should reduce their speed and be cautious as they approach the intersection. It signals that they should be prepared to slow down or stop if necessary. Question 9. 
What does this sign tell you about making U-turns? A. You should do a U-turn to go back home. B. U-turns are only allowed on Sundays. C. U-turns are always a good idea. D. U-turns are prohibited. The correct answer is D. U-turns are prohibited. This sign means that making U-turns at this location is not allowed. It's important to follow the rules of the road to ensure safety for all drivers. Question 10. When should you look over your shoulder to check your blind spot? A. Only when changing lanes to the right. B. Every time you prepare to change lanes or merge. C. Only when changing lanes to the left. D. Only when you are on a highway. The correct answer is B. Every time you prepare to change lanes or merge. Looking over your shoulder to check your blind spot is an important practice in safe driving. It involves glancing to the side and behind your vehicle to ensure there are no vehicles or obstacles in areas not visible in your mirrors. This is essential when you're considering changing lanes or merging with traffic to prevent potential accidents. Question 11. What is the appropriate course of action when your visibility is limited while driving? A. Increase your speed to reach your destination faster. B. Turn on your high beam headlights. C. Slow down and use low beam headlights in poor visibility conditions. D. Close your eyes briefly to rest them. The correct answer is C. Slow down and use low beam headlights in poor visibility conditions. When your visibility is limited while driving, it's important to adjust your driving behavior and take appropriate measures to maintain safety. This may include reducing your speed, increasing following distance, using headlights or fog lights, and being extra cautious in adverse weather conditions or low visibility situations. Ultimately, the goal is to adapt to the conditions and make decisions that ensure the safety of both yourself and other road users. Question 12. What does the posted speed limit tell you? A. The minimum speed you should drive. B. The speed for racing. C. Cannot exceed the speed limit of 25 miles per hour. D. The speed for a school zone. The correct answer is C. Cannot exceed the speed limit of 25 miles per hour. The posted speed limit tells you the fastest and safest speed you should drive on that road when the conditions are perfect. It's important to follow these limits to stay safe while driving. Question 13. What does this sign tell you about parking? A. No parking. B. You may park there if the driver remains in the vehicle. C. It's okay to park here anytime. D. Never stop your vehicle here. The correct answer is A. No parking. This sign means that parking is not allowed in this area. It's important to obey the sign to avoid getting a parking ticket and to keep the road clear for other drivers. Question 14. What should you do if you are in a car crash and someone is hurt? A. Run away from the scene. B. Shout loudly for help. C. Not move the injured unnecessarily. Keep the injured warm and administer first aid. D. Try to lift the injured person. The correct answer is C. Not move the injured unnecessarily. Keep the injured warm and administer first aid. If someone is injured in an accident, it's important not to move them unless they are in immediate danger. You should also provide first aid if you can and keep them warm while waiting for help to arrive. Question 15. What do you need to do before making a left turn? A. Honk your horn loudly. B. Yield to oncoming vehicles. C. Close your eyes and hope for the best. D. Do a dance. The correct answer is B. Yield to oncoming vehicles. Before making a left turn, it's important to yield the right of way to oncoming vehicles. This means you should let them pass before you make your turn to avoid a collision. Question 16. What does a sign with a red circle and a line through it mean? A. You should do that action. B. It's a suggestion. C. You can choose to do that action. D. That an action is forbidden. The correct answer is D. 
that an action is forbidden. When you see a sign with a red circle and a line through it, it means that the action shown on the sign is not allowed. It's a rule that must be followed. Question 17. What should you do before moving your car into another lane on a big road? A. Quickly change lanes without signaling to avoid disrupting traffic. B. Speed up and squeeze between two cars. C. Come to a complete stop and then merge into the other lane. D. Use your turn signal, check your mirrors and blind spots, and ensure it's safe to merge. The correct answer is D. Use your turn signal, check your mirrors and blind spots, and ensure it's safe to merge. Changing lanes safely involves signaling your intention to change lanes, checking your mirrors for other vehicles, and looking over your shoulder to check your blind spots to ensure there are no vehicles in your intended path. This process ensures safe and smooth lane changes, minimizing the risk of accidents. Question 18. What's it like to drive at night compared to driving during the day? A. It's less dangerous. B. It's just as dangerous. C. It's more dangerous. D. It's the same. The correct answer is C. It's more dangerous. Driving at night can be more dangerous because it's harder to see and there may be more tired or distracted drivers on the road. It's important to be extra cautious and use your headlights to stay safe. Question 19. What should you do when you see a driver who is acting angry and not driving safely? A. Yell back at them. B. Avoid eye contact, slow down, and let them pass. C. Challenge them to a race. D. Drive even faster. The correct answer is B. Avoid eye contact, slow down, and let them pass. When you come across an aggressive driver, it's a good idea to avoid making eye contact, slow down, and allow them to pass safely to avoid any confrontations and stay safe on the road. Question 20. Which of these things might make it dangerous to drive and could get you in trouble with the law? A. Controlled substances such as illegal drugs or prescription medicines. B. Drinking water. C. Eating a healthy meal. D. Watching a movie. The correct answer is A. Controlled substances such as illegal drugs or prescription medicines. Taking illegal drugs or certain prescription medicines can affect your ability to drive safely and could lead to getting arrested for driving under the influence. It's important to be responsible and avoid these substances before getting behind the wheel. Question 21. Why should drivers pay extra attention to people on motorcycles, bicycles, and people walking on the road? A. Because they're difficult to see in traffic. B. Because they never use the road. C. Because they are easy to see. D. Because they're too fast. The correct answer is A. Because they're difficult to see in traffic. Motorcyclists, bicyclists, and pedestrians can be harder to spot in traffic, so it's important for drivers to be extra cautious and watch out for them to keep everyone safe on the road. Question 22. How can you make sure you don't get into a crash after drinking alcohol? A. Drive as fast as you can. B. Deciding before you start drinking that you are not going to drive. C. Close your eyes and hope for the best. D. Keep drinking more alcohol. The correct answer is B. Deciding before you start drinking that you are not going to drive. One way to avoid the dangers of drinking and driving is to make a plan not to drive at all if you're going to drink. This helps keep you and others safe on the road. Question 23. What could happen if you can't show that you have the right amount of insurance? A. You'll get a reward. B. Nothing will happen. C. Have your license and plates suspended for up to three years. D. You'll get a discount on your insurance. The correct answer is C. Have your license and plates suspended for up to three years. If you're supposed to have more insurance coverage but can't prove it, you could lose your license and plates for a while. It's important to follow the rules and have the right insurance to drive safely.
Question 24. What does this sign tell you about the road? A. A pedestrian crossing area. B. It's always dry and safe. C. A speed bump or uneven road. D. Slippery when wet. The correct answer is D. Slippery when wet. This sign warns that the road can be slippery when it's raining, so drivers should be extra careful to avoid accidents. Question 25. What's a good rule to follow when you want to pass another car on the road? A. Drive with the flow of traffic and pass only as needed. B. Drive as close as possible. C. Honk loudly. D. Close your eyes and go for it. The correct answer is A. Drive with the flow of traffic and pass only as needed. When passing another car, it's important to do it safely and only when necessary, while keeping up with the speed of other vehicles on the road. This helps maintain a smooth and safe flow of traffic. Question 26. How might drinking alcoholic beverages change the way you react? A. It makes you a better driver. B. It has no effect on you. C. It slows your reaction time. D. It makes you see better. The correct answer is C. It slows your reaction time. Alcohol can slow down your ability to react quickly, making it dangerous to drive after drinking. It's important to avoid drinking and driving to stay safe on the road. Question 27. Who gets to go first on the road when there's a funeral procession? A. The larger vehicles, such as trucks, have the right of way. B. The vehicles in the funeral procession have the right of way. C. It depends on local traffic laws and regulations. D. The vehicles in the funeral procession have the right of way. The correct answer is B. The vehicles in the funeral procession have the right of way. The right of way in the context of a funeral procession determines which vehicles have priority on the road when such a procession is in progress. Understanding these rules is important for ensuring a respectful and safe passage for the procession. The specific right-of-way rules can vary by location, so it's essential to be aware of local traffic laws and customs in your area. Question 28. When are you not allowed to cross a single broken white or yellow line on the road? A. Any time you want. B. Only when it's sunny outside. C. When you're in a hurry. D when doing so would interfere with traffic? The correct answer is D, when doing so would interfere with traffic. You should only cross a single broken white or yellow line when it's safe to do so and won't cause problems for other drivers on the road. It's important to follow the rules to keep everyone safe. Question 29. What can happen to people who are very sleepy when they drive? A, they become great drivers. B. They drive perfectly. C. They become faster drivers. D. Can drive so poorly that they may appear to be drunk. The correct answer is D. Can drive so poorly that they may appear to be drunk. When people are very tired, they can drive so poorly that it might look like they're drunk. It's important to get enough rest before driving to stay safe on the road. Question 30. Who should always wear their seatbelt every time they ride in a car? A. Only the driver. B. All occupants of a car every time the car is driven. C. Only the people in the back seat. D. No one needs to wear seat belts. The correct answer is B. All occupants of a car every time the car is driven. Seat belts work best when everyone in the car wears them every time they go for a ride. This keeps everyone safe in case of an accident. Question 31. What might happen if you have a drink while taking medicine you got from the doctor or at the store? A. It could lead to harmful interactions, reduced effectiveness, or adverse side effects. B. It may reduce the side effects of the medicine. C. It won't have any impact on the medicine's effects. D. It will enhance the effectiveness of the medicine. The correct answer is A. It could lead to harmful interactions, reduced effectiveness, or adverse side effects. 
Mixing alcohol with certain medications can have harmful consequences. Alcohol can interact with medication, leading to reduced effectiveness, increased side effects, or other negative outcomes. It's important to follow the advice of your healthcare provider or read the label on over-the-counter medicines regarding alcohol consumption while taking medication. Question 32. What should you do with your headlights when you're driving in foggy weather? A. Turn on your high beam headlights. B. Turn off your headlights. C. Turn on your low beam headlights. D. Drive without headlights. The correct answer is C. Turn on your low beam headlights. In foggy weather, it's best to use your low beam headlights to help you see better and be seen by other drivers. High beams can reflect off the fog and make it even harder to see. Question 33. What should you do with your headlights when it's raining? A. Turn on your high beam headlights. B. Turn off your headlights. C. Use low beam headlights. D. Use your fog lights. The correct answer is C. Use low beam headlights. When it's raining, it's a good idea to use your low beam headlights to help you see better and make your vehicle more visible to others on the road. High beams can cause glare and reduce visibility in rainy conditions. Question 34. What can make a driver not pay attention to the road? A. Talking or texting on a cellular phone. B. Looking at road signs. C. Talking to a friend. D. Eating a snack. The correct answer is A. Talking or texting on a cellular phone. Distracted driving can happen when a driver is using their phone to talk or text, which takes their attention away from driving safely. It's important to avoid distractions and focus on the road. Question 35. What do downward-facing triangular signs do? A. They tell you to speed up. B. They tell drivers to yield. C. They tell you to stop. D. They tell you to honk your horn. The correct answer is B. They tell drivers to yield. When you see a downward-facing triangular sign, it means you should yield or give the right of way to other drivers when necessary. It's like saying, let them go first. Question 36. What is the appropriate stopping distance in relation to a school bus with flashing lights and an extended stop sign, both in front of and behind the bus? A. 10 feet. B. 15 feet. C. 25 feet. D. 20 feet. The correct answer is D. 20 feet. Children may cross within 10 feet of the stopped bus. To give them a safe amount of space, you should stop 20 feet from the front or back of the bus. Question 37. What should you do when you see a yellow traffic light flashing? A. Speed up and go fast. B. Proceed with caution. C. Turn around and go back. D. Stop your car immediately. The correct answer is B. Proceed with caution. When a yellow traffic light is flashing, it's a signal for drivers to be careful. You should slow down and make sure the road is safe before you continue driving. Question 38. What do you need to do when you see this road sign? A. Speed up and pass quickly. B. Stop your car. C. Wait for other cars to stop. D. Traffic turning left on the green light must yield to oncoming traffic. The correct answer is D. Traffic turning left on the green light must yield to oncoming traffic. This road sign tells us that when a green light is showing and cars want to turn left, they need to be careful and let the cars coming from the other direction go first. It helps keep everyone safe on the road. Question 39. What shape is a stop sign? A. Octagon. B. Triangle. C. Square. D. Circle. The correct answer is A. Octagon. A stop sign is shaped like an octagon, which means it has eight sides. When you see the shape on the road, it means you must come to a complete stop before continuing. Question 40. What should you do when you want to go past other cars on the road? A. Speed up and honk your horn. B. Close your eyes and go fast. C. Check your mirrors and blind spots. D. Stop and wait for the other cars to move. The correct answer is C. Check your mirrors and blind spots. 
When you want to pass other cars on the road, it's important to check your mirrors and blind spots to make sure it's safe. This helps you avoid accidents and drive carefully. Question 41. What should drivers do when the traffic light is not working? A. Treat the intersection as a four-way stop. B. Ignore the intersection. C. Drive really fast. D. Blow the car horn loudly. The correct answer is A. Treat the intersection as a four-way stop. When a traffic light isn't working, drivers need to be extra cautious. They should treat the intersection like a four-way stop, taking turns to go through and making sure it's safe to proceed. This keeps everyone on the road safe. Question 42. What does the green arrow on a lane use control signal tell you? A. Stop and wait. B. You may use this lane. C. Turn around and go back. D. Speed up and pass quickly. The correct answer is B. You may use this lane. When you see a green arrow on a lane use control signal, it means that you're allowed to use that lane. It's like a special sign that says it's okay to drive in that lane. Question 43. What should you do when driving on slippery roads? A. Drive really fast. B. Take turns more quickly. C. Take turns more slowly than usual. D. Close your eyes and go fast. The correct answer is C. Take turns more slowly than usual. When the roads are slippery, it's important to be extra careful. You should slow down and take turns more slowly than you usually do to avoid sliding or losing control of your car. This helps keep you and others safe. Question 44. When should you leave more space between your car and the one in front? A. When you want to race. B. When you're in a hurry. C. When you're driving with a friend. D. Driving behind a large vehicle that blocks your vision. The correct answer is D. Driving behind a large vehicle that blocks your vision. It's important to give yourself more space when you're driving behind a big vehicle that you can't see around. This way, you can see what's happening on the road and have more time to react if something goes wrong. Question 45. What do pentagonal signs show you? A. Speed limits. B. Railroad crossings. C. No passing zones. D. School zones. The correct answer is D. School zones. Pentagonal signs, the ones with five sides, are used to let drivers know about school zones. When you see this kind of sign, it means you should be extra careful and drive slowly because there might be children around. Question 46. When is passing not allowed? A. On straight roads. B. In parking lots. C. At intersections. D. In your driveway. The correct answer is C. At intersections. You should not pass other cars at intersections, which are places where roads cross each other. It's important to wait your turn and be patient to stay safe when driving. Question 47. When is it okay for a driver to pass a car on the right side? A. Whenever they want. B. If the vehicle is waiting to turn left and there is an available passing lane. C. Only at night. D. While eating a snack. The correct answer is B. If the vehicle is waiting to turn left and there is an available passing lane, it's safe to pass on the right side of another car when it's waiting to turn left and there's a special lane on the right for passing. This helps keep the traffic flowing smoothly and safely. Question 48. What does it mean when a driver's left hand is down? A. Stop. B. Turn right. C. Turn left. D. Go faster. The correct answer is A. Stop. When a driver's left hand is down, it's like they're saying stop to let others know they plan to come to a complete stop. This hand signal helps everyone understand what the driver is going to do on the road. Question 49. What should you do if you accidentally pass the exit on an interstate expressway? A. Keep driving straight. B. Get off at the next exit and come back to the exit you missed. C. Make a U-turn. D. Drive in reverse. The correct answer is B. 
get off at the next exit and come back to the exit you missed. If you miss your exit, it's safest to continue to the next exit, then return to the one you missed. Turning around on the expressway or driving in reverse can be very dangerous, so it's better to follow this procedure. Question 50. What does a flashing red light on a traffic signal mean? A. Go as fast as you can. B. Keep going without stopping. C. Speed up and honk your horn. D. The same thing as a stop sign. The correct answer is D. The same thing as a stop sign. When you see a flashing red light on a traffic signal, it means you must stop, just like when you see a stop sign. It's a way to keep everyone safe and make sure no one gets into an accident at that intersection. Question 51. What does this road sign tell you about the road ahead? A. A road joins from the right. B. Slow down and look for ice cream. C. There's a park nearby. D. You can drive really fast here. The correct answer is A. A road joins from the right. This road sign helps you know that another road is coming in from the right, so you should be extra careful and watch for cars that might be joining the road you're on. It's important to stay safe when driving. Question 52. What should drivers do when they see a steady green traffic light? A. Stop your car. B. Turn around and go back. C. Continue driving unless there are vehicles or pedestrians already in the intersection. D. Honk your horn loudly. The correct answer is C. Continue driving unless there are vehicles or pedestrians already in the intersection. When you see a steady green light, it means you can go, but you should be careful and look out for other cars or people who might already be in the intersection. Your safety and the safety of others is very important. Question 53. How should a seatbelt be adjusted to keep you safe? A. Loosely draped over your shoulder. B. Tied around your waist. C. Is buckled snugly across your hip bones and lower abdomen. D. Buckled behind your back. The correct answer is C. Is buckled snugly across your hip bones and lower abdomen. To stay safe in a car, your seatbelt should be worn low, snug, and across your hip bones and lower abdomen. This helps protect you in case of a sudden stop or an accident. Question 54. What should you do if you hear a siren while driving, but you can't see the emergency vehicle? A. Pull to the curb and look to see if it is on your street. B. Cover your ears and close your eyes. C. Speed up and keep going. D. Honk your horn loudly. The correct answer is A. Pull to the curb and look to see if it is on your street. When you hear a siren, it's important to pull over to the side of the road and check if the emergency vehicle is coming on your street. This helps them pass safely and quickly, and it's a good way to be helpful and safe. Question 55. What does this sign tell you about the place where it's placed? A. Side road ahead. B. T. Intersection ahead. C. Lane reduction ahead. D. A right turn ahead. The correct answer is B. T. Intersection ahead. This sign is used to show in T. Intersection, which is where two or more roads come together. It helps drivers know how to navigate these areas safely. Question 56. What does this sign tell you about what's up ahead? A. School crossing. B. No vehicles allowed. C. No pedestrian crossing. D. Pedestrian crossing ahead. The correct answer is D. Pedestrian crossing ahead. This sign helps drivers know that there's a place where people might be crossing the road soon. It reminds drivers to be extra careful and watch out for pedestrians to keep everyone safe. Question 57. What should drivers do when the weather is not good for driving? A. Drive faster. B. Follow very closely to the car in front. C. Honk their horn constantly. D. Increase their following distance. The correct answer is D. Increase their following distance. When the weather is bad, like when it's rainy or snowy, drivers should give more space between their car and the one in front. 
This makes it safer because it takes longer to stop in bad weather and you want to avoid accidents. Question 58. What happens to roads when they become very cold? A. Roads stay the same and their condition doesn't change. B. Roads can become more brittle and prone to cracking or developing potholes. C. Roads become softer and more pliable. D. Roads become smoother and more durable. The correct answer is B. Roads can become more brittle and prone to cracking or developing potholes. When roads are exposed to very cold temperatures, they contract and may become more brittle. This contraction and brittleness can lead to the development of cracks and potholes, especially if there is freeze-thaw cycling, where the road freezes at night and thaws during the day. This process can be damaging to road surfaces and requires maintenance to keep the roads in good condition. Question 59. What's the first thing you should do if you want to go slower on a slippery road? A. Take your foot off the gas pedal. B. Close your eyes. C. Speed up. D. Honk your horn loudly. The correct answer is A. Take your foot off the gas pedal. If the road is slippery, it's safest to start by letting go of the gas pedal. This helps your car slow down and you can keep better control, reducing the risk of skidding or sliding. Question 60. How close to the first rail should drivers stop when they see a sign telling them to stop at a railroad crossing? A. 10 feet. B. 25 feet. C. 50 feet. D. 100 feet. The correct answer is C. 50 feet. When you see a sign telling you to stop at a railroad crossing, you should stop about 50 feet away from the first rail. This is important to make sure you have enough space to stay safe in case a train is coming. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you still need more practice, then check out these videos or click the link right here to get your cheat sheet, which will help you pass your DMV exam on the first try.